Hi, I'm Austin Griffith, and it's Bowtie Friday, my dudes. I've been thinking a lot about getting more users on board and also where blockchain is important. And kind of the conclusion that I've come up with talking to tons of people in Prague and everywhere else is kind of we don't need blockchain. Like, you only need blockchain when you need it, right? <laughs> you need you only need censorship resistance when you're being censored and so and and someone might argue that we need that now but uh in in a lot of places in the world things are pretty good there's no better time to be alive than now but there are other places that um maybe that's not quite true and uh we need to do a good job of bringing blockchain to them because they need it and i think that in in terms of mass adoption I think it'll start there. Like when when we when we talk about how we get more people on board with Ethereum, we need to take Ethereum to places that really need it. And so that was kind of this this thesis that led up to uh, kind of building this this burner wallet, which is a way to just move funds really quickly and really intuitively. So it's at xdai.io. It's running on the xdai network, which is a hard spoon of Ethereum. So you're actually paying your gas and everything in Dai. It, it's five second block time, so it's super quick. But the whole point of this is that it's very, very easy to use. There's no, there's no wallet. There's no seed phrase. There's uh, no, no download. Basically, you just point your phone at uh, xdai.io and and you can even like just pull up your camera and then just point your camera at the thing and it'll just bring up xdai.io so oh and it brings it up like I'm sending it to this dude but then you have to cancel that's and normally it'll notice that you don't have any funds and it'll send you over to the home page anyways let's let's do a demo of this thing and kind of just talk through uh, where where uh, it, it's handy so um, it's generating this key pair right in the browser and there's a burn right here you really really think about this as ephemeral these are throwaway accounts this is very much a burner a burner wallet you you should only use this like for a little while and then you should throw it away like say you're going out for the night maybe charge up probably even less than 38 dollars but charge up kind of like whatever cash you you carry around this is a lot like cash you charge up your wallet with however much you have uh, maybe twenty, twenty-five dollars. Just something seeing so like split a pizza, split a cab, something where like I, I was sitting at dinner with a lot of Ethereum people, and it came time to pay the check. And you know who you are. They pull out Venmo. Like we, we are Ethereum people. Come on, like send, send some ETH. So that's kind of another uh, reason behind this, not just um, for places like Venezuela and Alejandro, but just us. Like as the crypto initiated, we still don't do a very good job moving ETH around. So uh, let's just go ahead. We, we created this account. Let's go ahead and burn it one more time just to watch that account get generated. You can see that account gets generated. It's in a cookie. It'll be there for you when you come back. If you do the same thing and you bring it up on your phone, uh, there's that little button in the bottom right or the bottom middle that lets you add it to your home screen. That's what I do. So then I just kind of have it on my home screen there. Uh, yeah, $7.53. So I click into there. Then there's my 753 and I'm ready to go, right? So let's let's do a demo here and send with a scan. So there's gonna be two of me here, hello. And what I do is I just get that there and then that purple thing is this purple thing right there, that's my Identicon, right? And I'm going to send me maybe 50 cents and I hit send. And since this is MetaMask, so this is kind of like a colder wallet, right? This is this is a good place to have your funds on your laptop, and then when you're going out for the night, you would send them to your phone and head out the door, right? So I'm going to confirm that. It'll take about five seconds, and then uh, there we go, eight dollars, and and it'll go down over here. Basically, you kind of charge up these uh, burners, and then you head out on the night, and then when you need to split split the tab with someone, or maybe you're going out to buy medicine. I mean, like there's there's there are certain use cases for certain places where this could be very handy. You then then let's say I want to buy something from this dude over here. I'm just gonna say send with scan, I'll allow. And it's the same thing, it's just just the camera, just normally. I hit that. There we go. There's there's that blocky. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna give you two dollars, two dollars and fifty cents, and I hit send, and it's just gonna chug away, and we see there we go. Now he's got two dollars and fifty cents. 
So he so he goes home. He kind of goes over to the dye bridge. He moves it to dye. He moves it to ETH, whatever. Uh, something a little bit colder. Maybe he moves it over to his MetaMask account, right? Let's let's actually go ahead and do that. So let's say he gets home, and this is his MetaMask. You can just click the QR code. I'm just going to sweep um, that 250 to here, and I'll have to do actually 249. Remember, we're paying gas with um, the wallet. But there we go. We're basically going to sweep back to our nice cold, uh, nice cold MetaMask, right? Where uh, I don't, you know, I actually have a protected seed phrase and I can recover it if, if something goes wrong. Okay, so what else can we do with this? There's also um, the ability to send with a link, right? So if I were to, let's say you didn't have a wallet yet, but I needed to send you something right now. Let's say we're, um, we're talking using WhatsApp, right? Like I meet you out for dinner. We have dinner. I want to split it with you. You don't want to go through the work of shooting QR codes, right? It's like, like that's like the most nerdy thing you can do at dinner is like, Here, here's my QR code. Shoot that. So let's say I'll just like, I'll shoot you a link. You can follow the link. You'll collect the money when you get it. Then you can sweep it. So uh, what you could do is just do a send with a link here. And let's just send like 10 cents. And you hit send. And what it does is it puts that uh, money into an escrow contract and generates another uh, public private key pair and then shares the private key pair through the link. So then the other dude comes along, get out of here. The other dude comes along, he puts that link in, um, he uses that private key to sign another message that claims it uh, on the contract and then it pulls it through. And then that, that link will also expire and this dude will be able to pull it back if he needs to, but um, it stays in there in escrow until that expiration. So there's one last, uh, I don't want to burn this 11 cents. Let's send it back to this dude real quick. There's one last um, kind of edge case that happens here and that is when uh, the, the receiver or the end person doesn't have any die in their wallet so they can't pay the gas. So that's where we need this centralized relayer. Uh, you know, we can do, let's go ahead and burn this wallet. So we have, I'm burning a penny. See you later, penny. Okay, so now we've got this new account here. Uh oh, what do I do? Oh, Bloxia, how cool is that? Oh, it didn't come up though. Yeah, so normally you can also click this and it's gonna take you to your Block Scout and it's gonna tell you, thanks to the rad dudes at POA, uh, you could just like see all your transfers and stuff, just like Etherscan. Okay, so we burn this account. We have this this new ephemeral account. He doesn't have any money or gas. Let's let's just say he doesn't even exist yet, right? Let's let's just go ahead and go to Google or something. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're out to dinner. You split dinner. Maybe you take a lift. You split the lift. You say, I'm going to send you. I'm going to split this money with you. I'm going to send you fifty cents, right? Not fifty dollars. Woo! It wouldn't even work. So I'm gonna, it was a very, very cheap pizza that we ate that we had to split. But instead of sending it to you directly through a QR code, I'm gonna send you just this nice little link that you don't have to worry about. I can just send this, I can just copy and paste this into a messenger or any kind of, any kind of chat. And then when you get home, you can click and run it and it's going to use this relayer over here and it's gonna pay the gas for you and it's gonna help you collect that money into your account without having to uh, have any gas in the first place. But then, it, so then if the next time you have a link, if you have the gas, it'll use your account to pay the gas. So the only time this relayer is used is for these like first time new accounts and it's something we need to work on. Obviously we shouldn't have anything centralized. We don't want to have any of these, you know, attack services. No, we don't want any web 2.0 things if we can get away with it. But in this case, there's a little bit, but uh, yeah, so this is the burner wallet, um, xdie.io. Add it to your home screen. Have it ready. Have it charged up. If I go to dinner with you and split split the tab, you uh, better be able to pay at least an X die. See you guys later. Have a good one.